During World War II, before the United States was actively in the conflict, German U-boats were stalking merchant convoys headed to Great Britain from Canada and the United States starting in 1940. Carrying weapons, food, gasoline, and oil, these ships were the lifeline for both Britain and later the Soviet Union under the Lend-Lease Act, and Adolf Hitler wanted British starved out of the war. Several U-boat commanders took great risks to do their duty, sometimes with great effect. Grand Admiral Karl Dönitz unleashed his U-boat commanders, and some decided to take the initiative in a strange way. What drove some U-boat commanders to take the risk of coming deep into enemy shores, even inside the British and U.S. coastlines, risking their subs and crews? What were the perspectives of these Germans as they watched American nightlife uninterrupted by the war? On October 13, 1939, Lieutenant Gunther Preen took his U-47 into the Scottish harbor of Scapa Flow, the home port for the Royal Navy, considered impossible 